uh, was Frank Tashlin had just left. Yeah. He went into live action and, uh, and did some very funny things and using a lot of the stuff he learned in films and, and in cartoons and in live action. So he, uh, so anyway, here's the pictures, about three quarters done in storyboard, and uh, and Henry Bender, who was the, was uh, was really the brains of the studio. Uh, Ray Katz knew nothing about it. But he was our so-called production manager, and the job that they had before that was emptying the peanut machines in the Warner Brother lot. But he was a, he was a second cousin or something, a southern um, brother-in-law or something of Leon Schlesinger, so he came from emptying peanut machines to being a director of the studio. But Henry Bender worked under him, and he, he was good, very good. He and John Burton, who was, the, was the, actually the physical production manager, he saw that every, that, that uh, well anyway, they were good people. And, uh, and they somehow felt that I could direct. And uh, so I went over there knowing full well I couldn't. If you know full well you can't do something, you have a running chance of doing it right. You know, if you go over there with the confidence and say, boy, I can do this one, chances are you're going to be doing it wrong because you're, 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 supplying, you're supplying a lack of information. And, I, uh, and so because I was kind of confident I couldn't do it, I had to solve any, every problem as it appeared. And I think that's the best way to learn any trade. And because I'd done, uh, I'd washed cells and I'd inked and painted and in between and so on, I had a pretty good running knowledge of what was necessary. But anyway, the Night Watchman was, was all right. Uh, at that, and that day, however, the term Mary, Mary Melodies was used because Warner Brothers, who had two or three publishing houses, uh, Harms and Whitmark and two or three others that they owned, uh, liked to sell sheet music, which was very big in those days because so many people played the piano and played the ukulele and stuff like that. So sheet music was a big business. So they would take any, any number from one of their feature pictures, and, uh, and you had to do two minutes of it. In, our, in this case, it was a shade of the old apple tree with a very special, very good, uh, very good rendition. And I had to use it in this picture, two minutes of it. So you have to start with that and then build your story around it. And, uh, and that's why the, you'll see the names of Lady in Red or the, or I, I haven't got a hat, stuff like those are Those are names of, of songs that were in Warner Brothers features. So this was to plug. That's why it's called Merry Melodies. And, and the, uh, the others were... Uh, for story pictures and usually in black and white. Mm -hmm. So I stepped right into color. Yeah. And uh, I'm not sure it was good for the studio, but it was reasonably good for me. <laughs> <laughs>